Okay, fifth graders. I think this is, yeah, this is recording. I wanted to make sure I hit the right button. So um, we're multiplying two digit numbers by two digit numbers. And they actually go over a couple different ways to do it using partial products and then just the standard, what they call standard algorithm, which is how I was taught when I was uh, your age. And they still teach it today. And I'll even show you guys how to do it if you haven't been taught it already. Uh, but I did want to show you partial products. And so here they have an example. Um, it says a ferry car carried uh, 37 cars per trip on the weekend. If the ferry made 11 trips on Saturday and 13 on Sunday, how many cars did it carry uh, on the weekend? And here they've, they've set it up this way. Um, let me move this back up here. Whoops. What is going on? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Finally. Um, let's see here. Where was I? So um, it says you can find the 24 trips were made on Saturday and Sunday. Um, let's see here. So uh, here's the 24 trips. Uh, so the ferry carried 37 times 24. There's the 37 times 24. And, and so let me set this up using partial pro. Actually, you know what? Let me do it this way here first. Uh, 37 times 24, all right? And this is uh, box C. This is what they're, they're doing here, standard algorithm. So uh, four times seven is what? That's gonna be 28. I'll put down the uh, eight, carry the two. Four times three is 12, plus two more is 14, okay? I could put a placeholder zero here and 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 uh, move below the tens here. So now I've got uh, two times seven. That's gonna be 14. So I'll put down the four, carry the one. And two times three is six, plus one is seven. So 740. Now I'm just gonna add those together. Uh, eight and zero is eight, four and four is eight, and seven and one is eight, 800 and 88 cars and that's what they came up with with here so that's um that's the standard algorithm um which is it's a little bit shorter actually than using partial products but i don't know for some of you maybe the the partial products will click um will be a little bit easier for you to uh to calculate multiplying numbers together here so the first thing I'm going to do, remember, this is the ones place, um, ones, and this is the tens place, all right? So in the ones place, uh, what do we have here? We have uh, four times four times seven. What is that? Well, that's 28. So I'm just going to do a little arrow there, and I'm going to put a, a 28 here, all right? And then... Um, and then we're doing four times, I'll use a different color here, four times that three, but that three is not a, actually just a three, remember? It's in the tens place. So it's four times 30. Well, what's what's four times 30? That's 120, okay? So um, now we're gonna move to the two and we're gonna look at the seven, uh, two times seven. Um, but remember, this isn't just a two. It's in the tens place. So that's actually a 20. So what's 20 times seven? That's 140. And um, the last number um, is gonna be two times three, which is actually 20 times what? 30, because the three is also in the tens place. Well, what's 20? times 30 equal well what's two times three that's six how many zeros do we add in two zeros so that's going to be 600 all right and then we just simply add everything together eight and zero and zero and zero is eight and then two and two and four is eight and six and one and one is eight and there we go we have the same answer that we got using the standard algorithm so um if 
multiplying using uh, partial products, which is the example I just gave you, if that's a little bit easier for you, that's that's fine. You can you can go ahead and use that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me as long as you get the right answer. The convince me it says what are ways you can estimate to check uh, reasonableness of uh, the answer. Well, you can round. Um, round the numbers. Um, or compatible or use um, or use compatible numbers. Numbers. All right. Sorry, sloppy writing didn't give me much room. All right. Uh, so let's move up. So I'm looking at the guided practice here. Uh, uh, Janet, Janet said that the standard algorithm is just a shortcut for partial products. Yes, I agree. Um, let's see here. Um, you are finding the first The, the first uh, two products and adding them in the standard algorithm. So yeah, it is kind of a shortcut. Okay, um, let's see here. Let's look at this here. Number two, use an algorithm or partial products. So you have a choice here. To find the product, in other words, you're going to find the answer. Estimate to check to see if your answer is reasonable. Um, you don't have to worry about the estimating part, but let's let's take a look at this here. So, um, uh, three times one is what? Three. And then uh, let's see here. Uh, the next row down, three times. No, two times one is two, and then two times four, that's eight. And then we add them up. So a three is going to go here, and a four is going to go there. So 943. Okay, um, so it looks like that's what you're going to be doing in the independent practice. Let me pull that up a little bit and let's pick one that we could kind of do together. Whoops. I want to make sure this is still recording. Sometimes it acts up. Nope. I'm going to move this down. And we're just going to leave it right about there. And is it still recording? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, uh, so what's it doing here? Number, f let's look at number four, for example. Um, the 10 and the 10 and the five and six. So this, this, uh, sorry, I had to look at this for a moment here. Four is, is relating to that one right there, that box. Um, so six, six times five. That's going to be what? Um, 30. So I'll put down the 0, carry the 3. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 more is 9. So there's 90. And then a placeholder 0. And then 1 times 5 is 5. And 1 times 1 is 1. And we add those together. A 0 there. And 5 and 9 is 14. And carry the 1. So 240. Um, yeah, there you go. That's what you guys are doing. You're just filling these out. Um, I'm going to help you out with a couple of these. Up on top here, I'm looking at number six. Um, it's going to be the 18. So a one is going to go here and an eight is going to go there. And the 15, what do you think would happen with that? A one there and a five there. Okay. 
And then it looks like you're just multiplying these down below, 7 through 14. I think you guys can do that. Um, I suppose I could do one of them here. How about number uh, number 14 here? I'm looking at number 14. And 38 times uh, 19. Um, well, I don't know if you guys would rather do partial products or a standard algorithm. I actually have more... Um, more experience using a standard algorithm so uh, let's do that so 9 times 8 is 72 I'm going to put down the 2 and carry the 7 9 times 3 is is 27 plus 7 more is 34 and then a placeholder 0 and then 1 times 8 is 8. And then 1 times 3 is 3. We're going to add those up. And that's a 2. And then 4 and 8 is 12. Put down the 2, carry the 1. 3 and 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So the answer to number 14 is um, 722. Okay. All right, let's look at the last page. problem solving let's see what we have here oh, Queen Mary's Queen Mary the Queen Mary twos height that's interesting I would think you would use Roman numerals to represent that but anyways the Queen Mary the second or Queen Mary twos height above water it's about the same as a 14-story building. What is the Queen Mary 2's height above water? Okay, so each story is 12 feet tall. They said 14 stories. So what are we talking about? We're talking about 12 times 14. Uh, I think you could do that. 16 model with, model with math write the multiplication equation illustrated by the array drawn on the grid find the partial products and calculate the final product so that's pretty darn small to count um at least on my screen it is so looks like there's four here and there's probably ten going up one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah it looks like ten here and um, this is probably nine and this is going to be f four well, no, actually, that's all we need. This would be all. This would also be ten. So it would be fourteen times nineteen. So fourteen times nineteen. And um, they talk about uh, find the partial products. Well, we did, really, the ten and the ten and the nine and the four. So, um, yeah, I think that's what they're looking for. Okay, uh, 17, an elevator can carry 15 adults or 20 children at one time. During the course of the day, the elevator carries a full passenger load 52 times. If all the passengers were children, okay, so that's 20 children at a time, um, how many more people would the elevator carry than if it, if all the passengers were adults? Okay, so here's what you guys are going to have to do. Uh, it's 52 times in a day, so it's going to be um, 52 times 15. That's the adults. And then 52 times 20, and that's the children. And it's asked the question, how many more people would the elevator carry 
than if all the passengers were adults. So you're looking for the difference between the two. You're going to subtract one from the other. This, this is going to be the larger number because it can carry more people. So um, when you get your answer here, we'll call this X and we'll call this Y. You're going to end up subtracting. You're going to subtract um, X from Y and see what's left over. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. I think we're done here.